welcome back everyone. We are just putting some filters away. We just got in. But we always have our catch up your stock up to date. Well, I hope you guys have had a good week. We uh we kind of didn't have a bad week, but we didn't have a great week. We had some severe storms that rolled through yesterday. And I'll see if you guys can figure out what happened. As you can see, the shop is perfectly fine. Something is clearly missing here. I'm sure you, uh, you guys can figure it out. Unfortunately, that pole snapped off and uh, it wasn't rotted or anything, which actually surprised us because we put that in about five years ago. And we kind of thought that the actual post itself had just rotted and uh, wasn't the case. So I'm gonna take the rest of this and go put it on our bonfire. The good news is we're not going to be able to fix it, or sorry, the good news is, is that we are going to be able to fix it. The bad news is we won't be able to fix it today because I am waiting for a friend to take me over there to look at what poles they've got. I just didn't have time to do it today. Either way, we'll get it cleaned up. I'm sure you all remember the purr of this cat. That's right, the bobcat. We haven't used it in a while, but, well, we have, it's not on the channel. See if we can't get that uh, left that log out of the ground. Got it. That is not how I recommend to use the forks, but it will work. All right. That should work really well. So, we did have it concreted in. Um, I mean, obviously the whole base wasn't going anywhere. A lot of the problem is, is that when we put this pole up, we had a four by six flag on it, and we went to an eight by 12, which is a lot of surface area. Um, in comparison, you know, a four by six is only 26 square feet, and an eight by 12 is 72. So, literally three times the size. Um, you know, 24 times 3 would be 72. Anyhow, up top of the pole, it's a lot of pole, and when we get real strong winds, I'm surprised. Before we anchored the grain bin down, when we got that strong wind, I'm really surprised that this didn't break then. But obviously, that last one was what done her in, so it's uh, one of those things. We were walking out here real quick this morning just to check on the sheep, see how much grass they got left. Um, I don't know if you could tell on the video or not, but the grass has grown a lot in the last week because it did get up in the mid 70s for several days in a row. <clears throat> but it's back to being cool and chilly again. But we're checking on them, and then uh, we're gonna bring the horses over here later this afternoon. But. Make sure these guys are doing all right before we delay moving them. There's so many of them. There's days it looks like so few, and then there's days it looks like so many. When they're all bunched together, it don't look like as many. I'm impressed that blue marker is still on all of them. Yeah. That's good. 
It really surprises me. Look at these two. <laughs> What's well, a good? Take them off. That's a good mom there. I know I'm interrupting normal programming, but if you made it this far in the video, you probably like it. So if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and click that thumbs up button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. We don't email you, bug you, or anything else like that. It's just to let you know that whenever we post a new video, it will uh, YouTube will, will let you know about it. Thanks. Well, waiting on Jason to give us a call. Uh, unfortunately, his dad got stuck in the dump truck, and they're a little ways away. They're about, about 30 minutes by tractor, maybe 45 minutes by tractor. But uh, they had somebody that stopped that has a decent sized tractor. They're going to try to pull it out. If not, we are ready to go and help them out. I've got that chain in the bucket you saw. And, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. If not, we're going to get started on some other projects that uh, need to be done on this tractor specifically. So we're, that's why we're still letting it warm up. Come on, let's go! Come on! Up! Good girl! Well done, that was a flawless run. Good job. Small change of plans. They did get the truck out, which is awesome because it's a long trip by traffic, so I am glad that they got it out and uh, didn't need extra help. But since we've got the tractor out, we're uh, going to go up here. The neighbor's got some trailers that he's moving, like trailer houses, so. They need help um, pull them, but if not, like I said, really the goal is to get everything warmed up. I also wanted to cycle all the fluid uh, through the tractor, the new filters, because I want to change those hydraulic filters one more time, just because of how much dirt and debris, well, not dirt, I guess, but how much debris and junk was in the bottom left-hand side of that uh, housing on that filter to make me feel better. Like I said, it's a $20 filter, so yeah, I kind of threw away. I'm using one to collect more junk and then throw it out again. But at the end of the day, it's far cheaper to do it that way than it is to use the tractor and then junk and stuff gets stuck in there and, you know, cause issues somewhere else in the system. But everything else in the system is far more expensive than a filter. worth reporting we'll turn the camera on but I think it'll go pretty smooth. Probably see you back in the shop. I did forget to show this. I don't know if you can see it but my transit oil filter light is on again. I'm going to put a gauge on to check the hydraulic pressure at least on the rest of the system and kind of go from there. I don't think it's low because the transmission and everything's functioning fine and that filter actually looked pretty clean when I took it out. But like I said, I wanted to know everything is clean and change it myself to be sure. So we're going to look farther into that uh, sensor. I mean, the tractor's 40, almost 40 years old. So at this point, a sensor that was made in the 80s, I can see how it might be time to replace it at this point. So we'll we'll take a look at that. And it might even just be a wiring issue that there's a wire that's got to be connected to something. We'll be back on more information on that too as soon as we figure it out.
from the clip you just saw, it's pretty obvious that the front of the tractor is very light. This is for two reasons. One is that we have as much weight as possible on the three foot of my tractor. This is to lift that trailer up as much as we can so that the mud that it's stuck in is no longer all the way down to the frame. The other thing is, is that we don't have any of our suitcase weights on the front of the tractor. We take them off because this tractor is primarily used for hay and we don't do any tillage work with it. So there's no need for us to carry around a thousand pounds of extra weight. The next clip you're going to see that we tied Jason's tractor to the front of mine to help keep the front end down, but you're going to notice that it's still not enough weight and the front of the tractor is very light even though it's not high off the ground. I can turn the wheels back and forth and you can see that there's no traction on those tires making the front end move one side or the other. I know the lens is a little dirty, sorry, but we're making progress. Got her out of the hole and everything, and now we're just trying to turn. This is the ruts that we were pulling through, like, they're deep. And this doesn't even justify it because the tractor's already packed it down after it came through. The, the trailer itself was literally on the ground and we were dragging it through it. We couldn't get it to come up. Well, if you look right in front of us up there, we've got the house going down the road. I don't think we'll have any issues getting it to Lance's. We really didn't think we were going to have issues getting it out of there, but the ground was clearly softer than what we thought. We uh, should have put boards under the wheels or something to keep it from sinking, but we didn't. Lesson learned. See you guys back at the shop. We have these brackets that we bought because I need them to mount the light bar that we just took off. And we're going to make them into what we need by simply putting them, oops, by simply putting them in this vise and bending it over. There we go. After a little finagling, we got it all set up. Good deal. I would say it's sturdy enough. It shakes the vehicle. So. Unfortunately, the rough terrain that we drive this on, and sometimes the high speeds, the chase animals, well, not so much animals, it's mostly cattle. The sheep pretty well follow us, but sometimes when we help neighbors, it's got to move fast, and all that shimmying and shaking just is really rough on the brackets. So the last ones we made were out of aluminum. These ones that I bought, they're out of mild steel so hopefully it hold up better i don't know hopefully we're going to be able to go get our new pole today however as you can see this is filled with water and the ground is actually pretty moist it rained a lot yesterday and we're just not able to do anything about it today so what we are going to do is just leave this alone for now we'll go grab the pole that way we don't tear up this area because we got to bring the skid steer in here and I'm going to use the skid steer to dig down a little farther in order to get a good um, base for that. The 30 foot flag pole, or 30 foot pole that we're going to use is a flag pole. I'm really excited about it and I uh, think it'll be a good, good pole for it as a telephone pole so I won't have to worry about rod or anything like that either. And uh, it'll be smooth on the sides too which is obviously good for the flag, won't catch, us, catch, us like, or catch on the bark like it did before. We are going to go move the uh, sheep but first we're going to grab the horses because they're going to their rotation. The grass has grown enough now that even though it's cooled off today and it's going to be even cooler tomorrow, the rest of the forecast is on the up and up and we're going to be back in the 60s and low 70s 
at least for the next two weeks. So I think that we're gonna be okay now. I'm taking good for a ride. Are you gonna ride on him afterwards? Take turns? to where that fire came from or that wood rather check out some of the previous videos where we were cleaning up this wooded area behind us make it more pasture